<laughs> Are you excited to come to work with me today, Caillou? Yeah! Look at what Mommy made me! Wow! What a great tie! numbers, Daddy? Well, Caillou, if you press a number, the elevator takes you to that floor. Why don't you give it a try? We're going to level four. Cool! Good morning, Boris. Oh, and this must be Caillou. Your daddy says a lot of nice things about you. Good morning. Caillou, this is Valerie. She runs the whole office. Wow. Very nice to meet you, <laughs> Miss Valerie. So, this is where Daddy sits every day. <gasps> what do you do, Daddy? <laughs> well, Daddy does lots of things, Caillou. Right now, Valerie needs us to make some copies for a presentation. Copies? But Mrs. Martin says you shouldn't copy other people's work. <laughs> oh, Caillou, we need to make some copies so that everyone can read it. It's kind of like a show-and-tell. Oh, cool! <gasps> How does it work, Daddy? Well, you take whatever it is that you want to copy and put it up here. Then, you press the number for how many copies you want to make. And they pop right out into that tray. Wow! So it can copy anything? <laughs> well, not <gasps> quite anything. <gasps> oh, uh, careful, Caillou! Valerie needs me. I'll be right back. Why don't you finish putting those copies together? Finished! Excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? He's about your height with a yellow shirt it's and... It's me, Daddy. Now I'm a business person just like you. Oh, Caillou, you don't need glasses or a mustache for that. <gasps> but it does suit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time for Valerie's big meeting. So we've had a special helper around the office today. Caillou has been helping Boris prepare for today's meeting. And he really has been lending a hand. <laughs> that was so cool, 
Daddy, when I grow up, I want to work in an office just like you. <laughs> and you'll be the best office worker there is. Caillou and his family were on their way to Uncle Felix's farm. Caillou was very excited. I can't wait to see all the farm animals. Moo! <laughs> Quack! <laughs> Caillou gave Uncle Felix a big hug. He was very happy to see him. Howdy, Caillou. Great to finally have you all down on the farm. You ready to see some animals? I can't wait. There were lots of cute, fluffy sheep in the barn. Do you know what sound a sheep makes, Caillou? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> That's right. Uncle Felix and Caillou gave the sheep some grain to eat. That one's so small. Can I touch it? Of course, Caillou, but be careful. It's only a baby. Wow, it's so soft. Next, Caillou saw some cows in the field outside the barn. The cow's nose is wet. Where are all the horses, Uncle Felix? I want to be a cowboy! Uncle Felix walked into the field and whistled. Right away, a horse galloped up to them. This is Harry. Harry the horse! Can I ride him, please? Caillou had never ridden a horse before. He jumped around pretending to be a horse. <laughs> sure you can, buddy. Perched safely on the horse, Caillou felt like a cowboy as Uncle Felix led him and Harry around the field. Yeehaw! Caillou galloped up to the barn. He was still having fun pretending to be a horse. That was such a fun ride! I really like Harry the horse! Caillou heard a funny noise. He wasn't sure what it was. What was that? A mommy pig! Look at all the babies! The pigs were bathing in the mud. Caillou went in to have a closer look. Baby pigs are called piglets. This is so much fun! As Caillou watched, Uncle Felix drove his red tractor. He was sad that he wasn't allowed to try. Why can't I drive the tractor, Mommy? Only grown-up farmers like Uncle Felix can drive tractors, Caillou. Mommy had an idea to cheer Caillou up. She pulled his favorite red tractor out of her handbag and handed it to him. Here you go, Caillou. It looks just like Uncle Felix's. Wow, your tractor looks just like mine. You'll be a farmer in no time. Yippee! In the barnyard, Caillou saw some chickens. He tried to catch them. Caillou liked watching the chickens. They pecked at the ground with their pointy beaks. One of them swallowed a worm. Yuck! Want to check the hen house, Caillou? Maybe the hen laid some eggs. Wow, Caillou, excellent job. You're a great farmer. Caillou had lots of fun at the farm with Uncle Felix. He couldn't wait to come back and see all his animal friends again. It was summer vacation. Caillou and his family were going to the beach. Caillou couldn't wait to see what the ocean was like. Are we there yet? Almost, Caillou. When you can see the ocean, you know we are nearly there. I want to go swimming and build the biggest sandcastle ever! Don't forget about the ice cream. Ice cream was Caillou's favorite. He couldn't wait to taste all the different flavors. Ooh, yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> there it is! I can see the ocean! When they finally arrived, Caillou jumped straight out of the car. He ran down to the beach. 
It's hot on my toes. Don't worry, Caillou. It's just the heat from the sun warming up the sand. It won't hurt you. Caillou was surprised that the sand was hot, but he enjoyed wiggling his toes in it. Wow! The ocean! The ocean went on forever. It was the biggest thing Caillou had ever seen. Caillou, it's very sunny, and that means we need to put on lots of sunscreen and wear your hat so you don't get burnt. Caillou <laughs> giggled and tried to get away, but Mommy held on tight. She covered him all over with sunscreen. It tickled. Daddy set up the umbrella, and Mommy put Rosie down in the shade. Caillou didn't want to sit around. He wanted to do something fun. Who wants to go swimming? Me! 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 Caillou took Daddy's hand. Together, they ran towards the water. Brr, the water is cold. It's all right once you get used to it. Caillou and Daddy were having lots of fun splashing about in the water. Suddenly, a big wave knocked Daddy down. Caillou thought Daddy looked funny covered in seaweed. <laughs> then another big wave came and took Caillou by surprise. He didn't like being under the water. Don't worry, Caillou. Let's be careful to not go too deep and watch for the waves coming together, okay? <laughs> hey, you two. Time for lunch. Daddy and Caillou were now very hungry after dodging the waves. Caillou had a sandwich, an apple, and some lemonade for his lunch. Yummy. Caillou picked up his sandwich and took a big bite, but it was full of sand. Ugh! Oh, it's all sandy! I can't eat this! A nearby seagull swooped down and stole the sandy sandwich. Hey, come back! That's mine! Don't worry, Caillou. We can get some ice cream instead. After lunch, Daddy took Caillou to the ice cream shop. There were so many flavors, all different colors. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. I want to try all of them! <laughs> Why don't you choose one flavor for today, and then a different one next time? Okay. But how do I choose when there are so many? The friendly ice cream seller let Caillou try a few flavors to make sure he picked his favorite. Mmm, I like that one. Daddy bought four ice creams and they went back to find Mommy and Rosie. Want to show Rosie how to build a sandcastle, Caillou? Caillou was very excited and grabbed a bucket and spade. Look, Rosie, you take the bucket and go like this. Rosie giggled and clapped her hands. Sandcastles were the most fun of all. Wow, that looks great. But no castle is complete without a flag. Suddenly, Caillou felt water splashing against his feet. The ocean had moved closer, and the castle was washing away. Oh no! The waves are ruining my sandcastle! How did they get here? Because the tide makes the ocean go higher and lower, so the waves come further up the beach. The tide is coming in now, so that means it's time for us to go home, Caillou. But what about my sandcastle? Don't worry. We can come back another day, so you and Rosie can build an even bigger one. Mommy and Daddy gathered up all their things and headed for the car. I want to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. This is the best vacation ever! Caillou and his family had a great day at the beach, 
but he really couldn't wait for his next adventure.